see here. Okay, welcome to ETV. This is episode two. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about weapons, and then we'll go into a thing with uh, Tap Tap cutting his hair there. Uh, you know, we've, we've got a few segments to go through today. First of all, let's go in to weapons. Yes, you might, you might, you know, notice these. These are nice. Probably. Probably. Yeah, we're outside, as you can tell. So it's probably gonna pick up everything. Okay. Um. Yeah. But yeah, you might notice these. Yeah. Get some damage to that here. Let's zoom in for a close up here. Uh huh. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> then there's someone completely. Wolverine has nothing on me. Bring it. <laughs> yeah, these are actually claws we got out at the local flea market. They're nice. They're useful. They actually do the job, which is what I like. Uh, it's brass knuckles based claws. They put the claw on the end of a brass knuckle and ta-da! That's what you get right there. Which works well! Punch and stab and you know. And, you know, got a set of them, so... Yay! Bring it on, Freddy, bring it on. Freddy. Alright. He's got little tiny claws. Yeah, I know. Screw Freddy. I'll kill him in a minute. Let's me let's change out here, shall we? Uh, you want this one? Yeah. Let me edit this little bit out, maybe. Alright. Now for all of you people out there who need a knife, this is the knife. Now this is a, a Bowie knife. Actually, this is this is an extremely large Bowie knife, as you can see. I mean, yeah. I mean that's that's huge, man. That's just huge. What would you find something like that? My guess, my best get, you know, gut feeling on this would be eBay. Uh, tipped up here, over here beside of me. Bought this for about twenty bucks, my yeah. man. Which was a good deal in my opinion. Uh, but I mean, where, where do you think those are produced? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, <laughs> it's like the guy from, what's his name? Silent Hill? It's like his knife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, uh, that'd probably be a good tip. I'm saying it's yeah. more represents, uh, what is that guy? Uh, um, the Australian dude? The yeah, yeah, hunter? this is a knife. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that that is a big, really knife. Get yourselves one of those. You can't, can find it. You can't go wrong. With a knife that big, I mean, I can't even fit it. You know, the sheer size of it won't fit. That'll go through someone's gut. Not yeah, I mean, that that would gut them and go straight through. I mean, same thing with these claws. Seriously, if if somebody's helping here, if you look, see, they've got straight through. You see, straight through. But that ain't bad, you know. I mean, that's what you need. You need something to gut people with, you know. Just mm, straight through. Them. When they get in the way, you need to gut people, you know? I mean, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, my assistant's tap tap will come here. here swap out weapons here. Comes in a nice sheath. Top to your leg, like so. Well, you can't really see my leg, but yeah. Good weapon. Okay. What I got on my side here, as you can see, maybe get close enough here. I have a a dagger up on my side here, which is tactical. It's useful. It's blacked out, so it's kind of hard to see at night. A tactical dagger. I mean, it comes in real good for you know, like black ops, it's like SWAT military issue. Uh, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Rubberized grip. Hole in the middle, tie your rope to it, throw it, yank it back out of somebody's gut. Razor sharp. Razor sharp, yes. Always make your weapons, and especially blades, razor sharp. That way you can cut through people easily. Uh, I'm going to sheet this back here. Good to go. Kukri. Yes, the kukri. Show them the little thing. No, I mean, show them these. Because they're going to need, you know, a whole kit. Cheap. Well, why don't you show them the sheet? Oh, no. Let's put it back together then, then I'll show it to you. Put it back together and we'll come back to the 
years, this was it. No, well, not technically. Well, before we had guns. Before we had guns, yeah. Yeah, I mean, before we had guns, this is, you know, a little basic military tech right here. As you can see, it's blacked out tactical. That's why I like mine. Uh, it, you know, Tep Tep has one that's more traditional Japanese type thing. Um, yeah. Want me to go get it? If you'd like, yeah. But, you know, basically it comes with your basic sheath which you can use for blocking an opponent while you're swinging, basically, like that. Um, but she can. Sword is, let me back up, you know, basically used as a, I think the sword should be used as a tool, or, you know, or a defensive weapon. Uh, most people want to do, go out and do slashing and hacking and all this good stuff. I think a sword should be protection, it should be a tool. Um, uh, not only does it need to be a tool, but it needs to be a bit defensive as well. Yeah, I mean, mine's blacked out for a reason, because you can't see it coming at night. Um, if you can see, I'll get up close with the blade. You can't see nothing but the tip. I mean, at night, that would be completely blacked out. Why don't you get out here and do some moves, man? You I'm going to do some moves. Okay, okay. Where's the sheet? Alright, this would be tough tough so more traditional. That's with my camo though. I like that. I mean if you can see it kinda of blends in with my camo here. Jordan. No, no, no. But uh tough tough tough. Cool boy. Yeah. Short bus just went by. Yeah. <laughs> but as you can see it's got more ornate works around the ends and up in here than mine. Mine's more tactical. And he has, you know, the fancy blade work, a nice, you know, fancy blade work there, which is nice, I admit. The more curved blade. It's not the one of the sharpest swords in the world, but... Well, no, but it's a defensive tool, in my opinion. Yeah. You can use the sheath to block with, you know, like so. So his sheath down. I see his is more traditional. You always want to hold a sword with two hands, as I'm doing here. Traditional. You know, hold it out with two hands, and you know, if you have to, use it to flip, flip back. But you know, use it like this to jab. But always use two hands on your sword. Now you see this piece here. This here will protect your hand from an opponent. Right here. But see, he's got the ornate works around his. Mine's just got a block of steel. You know, I prefer you know more tactical. In my opinion, but yeah, his is nice. I like it. It's all right. I mean, I like more tactical stuff. I'm just you know that way. But you can go the ornate way. Um, if you're gonna get a sword. I suggest you read up on the bushido. Um, read, you know, uh, what is it, the Huckleberry? And uh, I don't always throw in the one of my favorite books that I've read. Always. One of the best. I'm gonna go up here and something else. Do I need to take a phone call? Is it Holly? Alright, well, I finished time. Oh, it'll be like half a second. Alright, well, Eddie. Taking a phone call in the middle of the TV show. Yeah. Huh. Doing TV shows, why? Yeah. Laptop. Oh. Huh? I'm, I'm kind of busy, I'm recording right now. I mean, I'm recording, can I call you back? Okay, I appreciate it. Out in the back porch. Alright, I'll call you back. Uh, huh? Uh, swords. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's probably the worst weapon we yeah. have. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. This is 
if you can get in on this, this is... This is a weapon that you're going to use only once. Yeah, this is a fantasy weapon, as you can see by the woman's figurehead there. Even if you are going to use it, you can only use it once. Now, fantasy weapons are nice, they look good, but they're basically useless. I mean, yeah, you could jab this in somebody, but you're never getting that out of the ribcage. Or out of their stomach, or yeah. anywhere. You know? I mean, if you can see here, do you see that? My gap right there is just going to grab meat. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you really want to kill someone and really bad, that would work. But you ain't getting that back. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, good and stuff, but I, I don't know, man. Fantasy weapons are, are nice. They're good for display. But actually killing somebody or, or maiming someone, mm, I'd go with something more traditional. That's all I want to say. Yeah, alright, this here is your standard kukri. If you can see that, but you can't. Alright, there you go. Your standard kukri. Now, what I like about a kukri, obviously, is it's got a bent blade in it. Now, that's good. If you see this, it's got a sheath too. A blade sheath. Protects your stuff. This is fairly sharp, so, you know. Kukri is good because it's got this little band right here. Good for doing that right there, fitting right in the neck and taking someone's head off. Um, you know, that's what basically what this weapon was used for. You know, throughout history, they were much bigger than one. Yeah, yeah, they were much thicker and wider. Uh, but yeah, that's basically come around from behind and take their head off. Yeah, that's that's the basic use for a kukri. Other than that, you can throw kukris. Now I mean, uh, they're you're used as your common day yeah, I regular mean, machete. Yeah, I mean they're like semi machete nowadays. I mean they've just become this military. I mean several militaries around the world still use kukris. Mm -hmm. We don't, but you know we still do tactical things with them. I mean, yeah, they're good weapons, but you know I I, I like them, but you know I, I'm more of the uh, old machete type deal. You know. This is your basic machete, straight bladed, regular handle, add the sheath. I mean, it's not much to look at, but it's sharp, it gets the job done, it hacks things up. I mean, that's what it's there for. Uh, make sure your machete wobbles just a hair, but not a lot. Uh, so when you're hacking into something, it'll give it just a hair, bend. and it won't break. Or bend. Yeah, I mean, or bend up. I mean, flexibility is good, but you don't want that much flexibility. Plus, I mean, you don't want it to bend in half. But yeah, that's a, that's a good weapon right there. They're cheap, easily produced. Yeah, I mean, they're cheap, easily to get. I mean, the most commonly used. Yeah, they're, cool. they're, they're good to hack things up, you know, limbs, whatever. People's limbs. People's internal organs. You could find, like, a kukri, uh, machete. Most likely on the internet, I'm not exactly sure for what price. Uh, machete shouldn't be too expensive. The kukri might be run you a bit more than yeah. an average. All right, weapon. let's go into pocket knives here. You see, this is my pocket knife. It's ugly, basic, bare, and has a hook on the end to jab into things. If I get it in picture, yeah, there we go. Um, you know, this is your, you know, basic pocket knife. This is what I use. It's simple. I mean, you really don't need much for a pocket knife. Most people like lock blades. I don't. I like to be able to pull out the weapon, open it, and then close it back without having to worry about a lock blade hitting the button. Now, this is more fancy. This isn't really a pocket knife. It's something more you wear on a belt, like my uh, dagger here, which is nice. More of a, a western type thing here. Um, if I can get it in frame, yeah, there we go. Uh, it's nice. It gets the job done. I mean, it's useful. You know, you're jabbing. What? You don't <laughs> want that fall on your toe. Don't want it to fall on your toe. That would be bad. <laughs> um, um, extremely sharp. Huh? Extremely sharp. Yes, it's you know. 
It's probably too long to be legal. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, you know, it, it's good for, like, cutting stuff, like, cutting ropes and stuff like that. Basically, you're bare. It's nice. It's nice. I like it. Okay. Alright, uh, now. I know, I know. People don't like the religious thing. I do. I'm, you know, whatever here. Best tool, best weapon. Right there. You can get the light on that if you show up. Alright. That is the best weapon you can have. The knowledge within. You know. And, since I am a rebel, this is a nice little set. Uh, if you can see that. I don't know if that's coming in or not. Okay, that's your holy water, your holy earth, your holy incense, and the holy oil of the olive tree with an olive wood cross, blessed. All from Israel. Holy water from the River Jordan. Can't beat that when you're fighting supernatural or non terrestrial beings, such as demons and such, like death himself. Um, I'd say Psalms 23 is probably the best verse for throwing stuff off. Um, but yeah, um, you always need this. This right here. Yes. I know, I know. All you atheists out there are going to kill me now, but, you know. I'm highly armed, so bring it. <laughs> um, we got Tough Tough cutting his hair next. You know, saving you some money that way. And, uh, I'll, I'll throw something else in at the end, yeah. Just a. Speed things up along. This is ETV episode two. Yep, yeah. Losing my hat. Yeah. All right. Welcome to ETV. Uh, you just saw a thing about weapons. As you can see, it's dark out. We're out, outside in the dark. Uh, yeah, see, so it's the lighter. This is a lighter tipped up holding up in the dark. Uh, we're doing, you know, black ops tactical stuff right now. Um, most of it classified, so we can't really go into it. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is, you know, ETV. Right now we're going to go segue over into uh, tipped up getting his hair cut, which we did couple weeks ago, but I'm going to throw it in because I like it. It's, it shows people that they don't need, you know, corporate, you know, hair, go, go in and pay money to get a haircut, which you can get for free yourself, which I like, you know, you know, teach people how to do things. Chuck E. Cheese doesn't see it coming. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he won't see it coming. No, no, we're not doing Black Ops on Chuck E. Cheese. We're doing, uh, you know. <laughs> I was so tempted. We're, we're, you know, deeply embedded right in now. The pits of hell. I mean, this is Better known as Walmart. Yeah, we're in the back. Well, uh, we're, we're doing some serious Black Ops right now, but, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll get back to you. Maybe, maybe we'll have Black Ops in later episodes of ETV. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're firing. Yeah. Alright, alright. Here's Tup Tup cutting his hair. Yay. Yeah, yeah, this is, we, we, we gotta show you what a real space monkey is supposed to look like. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's bald already, but yes, we're gonna shave the rest of his hair. <laughs> yes. We're gonna make him even balder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shoot him off into space. If you'd like to purchase any of his hair at any time, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have it available for you. Perfect male pattern baldness shape right there. Yes. <laughs> Going down a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Jeffrey over there would be the barber. Say hi. Hi. Now see, there's no reason you need to go to a barber shop to get your hair cut. 
Do it yourself with a pet trimmer. It's not a pet trimmer. Yeah, sure it is. That's what that's what they shave their dog with. Is that it? Oh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> See, you two can shave your head just like this. This is called the tap tap style. Shush. Yeah. He's shaving it all off. Leave it right about there. No. <laughs> Twenty years, man. Twenty years. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they just leave that little strand right there. No. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I should leave this. No. Yeah, that looks about right. Come so on, I didn't shave. Get dude. a razor blade and shave all that up top. You should shave Osprey into the back of his head. No, no, no. Holding the ears. Practice technique goes back to the 13th century Chinese monks. <laughs> Big shiny spot. Yes, do a turnaround. Do a turnaround right there so we can see the back. Turn around <laughs> so we can see the back, the back of your head. Yes. Let's shave it all. Yes. Shave your own head. Never have to worry with hair care problems again. The dude even got ears. Hair huh? growing on his ears. It's you fuzz. don't have an attachment to Buzzy's ear, do you? <laughs> it's fuzz. It's not real hair. If you don't shave, you're still going to have this crescent up here that's going to look different than all this back here. So you need to take a razor blade and, and go to it and shave the rest of it. Why don't you do that in this recording? What? Why don't you do this in that recording? Alright. Hold down. We're making him a space monkey, people. I'm not a space monkey. He, he is he's Osprey's space monkey. We're going to ship him into space. Don't send me up with a freaking nuke. Cool, Bill. I can do. Look into the camera. The camera is your friend. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm letting you record this. I don't know. You'll regret it later. Won't let me air it. Yeah, I, I figured this. This is the reason I'm going to edit and send it to the classroom before it comes to yeah, time to do it. It's like a video journal, you know? Mm -hmm. Send it to your mama or something. Oh yeah, she about that. Yeah. Send it to Jen. <laughs> Michaela. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then you see.
the head is not square. Now he's got a big old flat spot right here. Shush. No, no, no. This is scientific stuff here, man. The head is not square. The head, I mean, there was a science in the 1800s devoted to the bumps I think and, I get his eyebrows too. and lumps of your I head. I do that myself. Thank you. <laughs> you don't need to shave your eyebrows. Mm -mm. No, keep your eyebrows. No, because then I'd be following another Jason. And I'm not talking about me, Jason. I'm talking about the Jason at my work. Oh, well, I thought that was just facial hair growing in. I had that on my face. I did? Why don't you buzz his beard too? No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Would you like for me to go get the mirror so when you shave your head? I know you have the mirror. Now. Yeah, but I'll, I'll just get the one in the bathroom and hold it up. Too. I don't do that myself when I'm finished. No, we want to do your take it too. Oh, okay, I know what you're about. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. That way it'll, it'll video take you from this angle and the mirror will be at this angle. Yeah, see, so see, this is just a day in the life of Tough Cat. You should wear your Osprey shirt when you're doing these things, you know yeah, that. Right? I'm not getting hair all over that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at the hair like that. Yeah. Now look at your head. Yeah, walk up here, walk up here. That's okay. We got a broom. <laughs> no, leave some on there for a fact, man. Now look down. Look at your head. Nice and smooth. Yes, just for the ladies. <laughs> now, now. Shave the rest of it off. Gotta, You'll look good. Yeah, I gotta wash my hair. Or my head. Yes, yes. We'll be right back. Alright. So, as his barber, step over here. Step over here so we can see. Alright, now that's his barber. Out, Describe what you did to his head today. Oh my, I just shaved it. Just shaved it? Yeah, yeah. That works, that works. <laughs> <coughs> Alright. Are you ready yet? Hurry up, we ain't got all day. You can shave it and then wash it. Yeah, well, look at him walking a half dude through the camera. Shush! I had to get all that stuff off of <laughs> Yeah. Shave yours? I love nothing. Well, ain't nobody going near mine. I know it looks like a mess, but I'm in sick. Ain't nobody going near mine. Yes, we're just showing, like, the back end of the bike. Yeah, that's like my hand. Yeah. We need, like, sock buckets or something up there. Because <laughs> this is just empty commentary. Yay! The water running would be the parts we can't show you uh, of him washing his head and him being half nude in the bathroom. Uh, and this is for your own convenience. We can't show you this. Alright? So, you know, be thankful that we're not showing you this part. Because it's very nasty. Yes. Yes. He yeah. need, needs to shave all the chest hair, too. <laughs> okay, you're going to shave it, just dry shaving it? It's wet. Okay. Okay, this is how you cut your brain open and do a diagonal section. Tell me what I'm missing now. Uh, you want me to get the mirror? No, I'm sorry. I've done this before. Without a mirror? Mm-hmm. Why don't you jump over there and help him? <laughs> no, this is shaving your own head. See, you too can have the perfect hairstyle. Come over to your side. Get it out of the light. Get it past the light. Uh, it's not going to catch it. It could go past the light. Yeah, dear. Razor blade hair, yeah. Which is even worse because it's got bits of bloody skin and crap in it. What does it? You should shave a design or something in it now. Oh, I gotta wash this guy's not cut. Yes, yes. Let him wash. Why don't we get a straight blade? Yeah, we're, we're doing 
television. Where the television stops. Listen here, you got internet on. Yep. The PSP has internet on it, yes. Mm -hmm. Just don't drop it. Yes. Oops. Yeah. I'm kicking your ass. Yes. Shave the head. Shave the head. I'm missing the salsa here. I know. I'm gonna get it. I'm just taking it easy. Tell me if I'm going wrong. Ow. <laughs> Don't do that shit. <laughs> space monkey. I'm not a space monkey. We need to put some Duster Brothers in here somewhere. Play a little Duster Brothers, somebody. See, I can't see this without a mirror. Oh, well, go get the mirror up the wall. Why not? Get him a bucket of water. And we can use that gasoline? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. No, we're not using gasoline on my head. See, people, this is you. You are the camera and the light. Ah, almost slipped in my hair. This is him. Alright, go ahead. Let's go this way so it looks better. Well, I, raise it up. There we go, much better. Now, don't move it too much. You need to come down a bit to get in the video because you're too close. Alright, we'll move it over. Here. Up, up. Okay. Alright. <laughs> you're moving it too. You hold that. You hold it, yeah. Just don't get it. You can play the camera. Alright. Yeah. So he holds it much better. Yeah. See? Who's the same? There you go. Yes. This is average melt. Remove it. This is this is the best plan for getting rid of the milk hydrant baldness. Yes, it is. <laughs> Just shave it off. You need water in a bucket. Yeah, you're right. Yes. <laughs> I see. Tattoos. Means he was in a gang. Yeah. So anybody wants to mess with him about this video? They'll just come kill you. Yeah. In a movie, you yeah. just walked in the middle of the picture. Just yeah. say oh. hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're putting them on TV. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Yeah, this is funny. I'm, I'm commentary, doing commentary for it. Yeah, he's shaving his head. Which then we'll send to. Huh? Which then we'll convert and send out to Osprey TV and let Slasher play with it. Yeah. Who's Slasher? Uh, Slasher is a buddy of mine that lives in Tupelo, Mississippi. He does all our TV stuff, uh, editing, and he's general manager of all the TV. So you're going to make a movie out of him? what we're doing right now, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to call this one the best way to get rid of male pattern baldness. Yes, it is. <laughs> Well, you got a big old clunk of hair on the back of your neck. It's got to go. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't do a good job. Is it growing out or? Yeah, you're growing. Right here. No, over here. Turn around, turn around, look, turn around, so we can see it. No. Yeah, turn around. <laughs> it's yeah. on this side. You go up, bunch of little. Turn around, so we can see where it's at. You sure do. I'm sorry. I need to uh, get in there so I can. Oh. Yeah, walk over here and entertain us a minute. No, 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 I'm in my game. Well, nobody You're would have known game. if you hadn't told them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of your camera now, Anna. Yeah, you see the spotlight? Where, over anywhere in there where the spotlight's at. Oh, Lord, look at that, look at that dock of hair right there. Why don't you reach over and grab the thing and buzz it off for me? Yeah. Where's that? Right there on the back of the moped. You're on camera again. It's alright. It's alright. Oh shit. I'm gonna break some. It's alright.
Now you have both of them like No, my shit. Here goes a Fred Sanford. Big dummy. There goes the other one. This <laughs> Up in air. Yeah, let's shave that too while you're at it. Oh, that's alright. Here we go. Oh, shit. Turn it into a girl real quick. Stop that. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, like Super Bowl this shit. Yeah. It goes right down to there. <laughs> yeah, that works. Turn around. This way. Here, you know if this is your Ah! <laughs> 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 I got you. Oh, no, please don't. Please don't. I've not got his chest. You did. Right oh, there. I did. I'm hoping I'm not in it. Where the fuck did their hair go? <laughs> like, they, 
haircut. Did someone shave it all off or did it just fall out? I know what happened. He got him a haircut for April. April's been hanging around him a lot. I do this once every year. As you can tell um, by my couple well, of my Well, you need pictures. to get around your ear some more over here. Uh-huh. Right here. Alright, well, I need to get around here, too. Oh, he can't see you. Yeah, he can you. see in the floor. Yeah, you showed him before. Listen to this. There's this blind, blind man, right, walking down the street, and he's walking by a fish store, and he, he says, Good morning, ladies! <laughs> I've seen that. I heard that. Then say, Code 45. Two zigzags, and baby, that's all you need. I think he's got him some zigzags going there. <laughs> <laughs> he's got like a, a thing right across the top of his head. It's like shadow, like right across the top, right, right through here. Do you name put on like your a band? See how funny it feels. No, that's right. I bet it won't fit. Yeah, well. You, you have to tighten it up a lot more. Yeah. Still won't fit. Alright, you think Y'all I'm good? Y'all see this here. Turn around, let me see the other ear. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Right. Whoa, man, you got polka dots on your head. Yeah, that's because you... Freaking razor! Cutting little things on my lips and on my skin. Nah, you ain't seen the back of it. Hey, <laughs> I tell you a haircut I give my cousin. I give my mm-hmm. haircut just like yours. Mhm. But the only difference is, when I got done using the razor, let you like you got your hand. Uh huh. I took a pocket knife and I carved my initial on top of his head. Ow! <laughs> Well when, well, when he went to the military and they shaved his head, yeah. he still had my initials in his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd been, that'd probably been 15 years, you know, and he still had my initials across his head. Yeah. D.W. That's my style. Right. I, I used D.W. then. You want me to put D.W.H. in yours? No. What is D.W.? Donald Wilson. Come on. Now it's Donald Wilson Highland. So we're going to add a letter. Does that look good? Don't ask me. No, man. Like ask the people out there. Oh, thank you. Dude, your, your eyebrows are like growing together. Yeah, I know. It's a unibrow. Yeah. <laughs> on my dad's side. Uh, you'd expect he's Italian. No, that's everybody. Everybody who don't shave the middle does that. Me too. Oh. You know, yeah. Isn't you ain't old. I ain't got nothing. I'm so older than him. I need to get a shirt on there. So I'm on the same thing. Alright, this concludes the little thing here. He needs to thank his barber, which he didn't do. Uh-oh. He said you forgot to thank your barber. Oh, that's right. Alright. Breathing. Yeah, okay. So, we're... Here, here we are. Uh, you just saw Tup Tup get his head shaved. Uh, yeah, lean in here, man. Lean in here while we're encamped. Ow, if you my can eyes. see, if you can see, yeah, I see it's grown back a little bit now. But yeah, we are. Since then, yeah, we're we're deeply encamped in enemy territory right now. So you know, we we can't really be that loud. Police department. We're not supposed to tell where we're freaking encamped, man. Jesus. That's like completely... I mean, that just gives it away, man. You don't do that. It could be that's, that's, incrimin- <laughs> that's incrimination, man. You're incriminating yourself. Yeah, but they can't prove we're actually there. But we're sitting here doing black ops, and that's freaking illegal. And we're doing, like, SWAT black ops stuff, you know? Well... I mean, we also could be in Microsoft. Yeah, or someplace. Now, actually, a buddy of ours did that, and a friend of his got shot. So we're not we're not doing that today. Yeah, we so we could be camped out outside the Pentagon. Okay. <laughs> Don't listen to the evil tap tap. Actually, we're we're 
thing. We're encamped. It's we can't tell you where because that'd be you win. We can't tell you where we are because it would incriminate us. And they, you know, if they where we were captured or someone did see this, well Don't then they know. Us. We're outside our house. That no, we are not. <laughs> Just fucking around. Man, we're sitting outside the freaking, you know. Oh, crap! I wish I could tell you people. Anyway. Uh, Tap Tap Breathing Fire here is going to be up next, and uh, then we'll go into some, you know, some, uh, I don't know, probably what, Ode to Joy? I, I, it is Ode to Joy. It is not canon, as I say in this. And, uh, yeah, so enjoy. And, uh, yeah, keep keep in there. Canon. <laughs> yeah, we called it canon, but we later find out that it was Ode to Joy that he wanted to play virtually. All right. What we're doing right. here, peeps. Go. What we're doing here, people, is we figured out how to play the opening of Mozart's Canon. I think it's Mozart. Hang on. I I don't know if it's Canon, but it's Canon, yeah. But yeah. I don't know who it is. is it okay, well, Mozart? Canon. Yeah. On Eli's computer. All right. Using what is this? Analog X Virtual Piano. Now it might not be anything special, but I think it's kind of funny because I figured it out in seconds. Yeah. Like, boom. Here we go. Ah, see, I screwed it up though. Let's try it again. Yep, yep. Yay! Now you too. We we just saved you five hundred dollars on a freaking piano. Okay. Yeah. Go download the freaking program. You can figure that. it out like I did. If I can play the opening to that... It took him literally less than three minutes to do that. To yeah, figure I mean, that out. It's just a couple seconds, with no, a couple keys, and it was with like... With no training, no anything, he was sat down at it and played it. Yeah. I was like, hey, Tup Tup, look at this. Boom, he's playing freaking cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... <coughs> play, play him something else. Uh, let me see. I got a we've been we've been writing down the letters of the keyboard for the song. It was pretty cool. That's just something really simple. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. What else do I got? Those of you who know me will know that from my website, my work. Oh, we got it this way. We got way. the low down blues. Way. Oh, what is this? Huh? You still playing oh, low okay, down blues? Yeah. Huh. And low. Oh yeah. You see, that sounds all cute. No, that sounds right, actually. I like this though better. Yeah, that sounds good. I still, this is cool. Huh. Yeah, and if you see that running in the background, let's see if we can't get a close up on that as I hand you over. Why don't you move side it over a little bit forward? Hand it to me. I'm up and moving now, man. Okay, let's try this. Now watch my hands. Alright, can you see it? Yeah, we got your, your fingers. And if you can see, my keyboard doesn't have any <laughs> numbers, I mean, any characters on them. Yay! Nope. But just... what I was talking about is that is Adobe Audition running on my computer with virtual piano in front of it. So you hey. we're recording everything he plays. It's the waveform, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the closer I get, the more warped and screwed up it gets, but yeah, you get the picture. Yeah. So let me set that down. This is so. a pretty cool program. You Which, should check it I, out. I highly recommend anything Analog X does because he gives it away for free. Oh I know, and it's like kick ass stuff. 
I almost, and this is fun stuff. Yeah, this is wicked. I mean, if you want to learn how to play the piano and you don't have a freaking piano, this is it. I mean, you won't be able to play crap on the actual piano, but you'll sound like a freaking god to everyone else well, on the see, internet. The only problem with this is, you got to figure out what keys play what tones. Yeah. And that could be a little bit difficult. Now, I did that just by listening. Here. But um, I still don't know what key does what. I know that I can play Mozart, and I remem memorize the keys, but I still don't know how to play the next portion of Mozart, yeah. which i got to figure out. I'm going to try to figure which it out. Which is like... Do, 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 next time. Yes, this will be an ETV. Yay! Okay, people. Currently, right now, we are recording our two bunnies that we just got. Yep. One is named uh, Ying. The other one's named Yang. It's Can Ying you and guess? Yang. Can you guess? Can you guess? Alright, well, first of all, the white one is Ying. The black one is Yang. So. Yeah. They are apparently not camera shy. Not camera. Well, they. Well, now I'm there. Say, say hello to the camera. I'll say hi to you. Yeah. You that? You that? Yang's over here eating. See, this is Ying and Yang. We named them that because, of course, as you see, one is pure white over here. This one. See? This one. Ying. She's wild. She's she's the the, the she jumps active, around and she's the active one and yeah. then we got she's not Yang. shy at all and the noise you're hearing right over here is she is drinking, drinking from a okay, so her water bottle oh, yeah. Yang over here is more passive yeah she's more passive a bit shy I mean she'll come up to you like the other ones but um, Yang sees your hand she's like oh. Let me run over there. But uh, when we, we let him out of the cage a little earlier, you know, just to get familiar with the area. The area is, uh, you know, we cleaned it up, but it needs a little bit more. Yeah, so I mean, we were monitoring very carefully what they were doing. More than went. And uh, Ying gave me the most trouble. She wanted to get <laughs> everywhere. She wanted to get she into wanted everything. To run everywhere. And uh, Yang, she just you know stayed to one little area, kind of checked it all out and. You know. Oh, no way. Here she comes. There, there they are. Yeah. You took them out of the picture. Well, I mean, I wasn't paying attention to the camera. Yeah. yeah. So, it's so, like, yeah. So, these are our bunnies. Yeah. Little bunny bunnies. Uh, Ying's pure albino with the red eyes. Now yeah, right. she's an albino. We've well, so been taking pictures, pictures of her, and it looks like her eyes aren't even there. Yeah, as a matter of fact, some of the pictures is almost like she's a freaking ghost. It's yeah, so bright. I mean. She is so bright, and as you could tell, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can't really see too much because I'm from the side, and I'm not trying to be in the picture. Uh, I'm looking right at it, but I'm like, you could see how hand. bright yeah. she is compared to the black one. So, you know, I think maybe we should do a little editing here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, do that. well, how does it go? Ebony? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Ebony and ivory go together like sweet. I don't know, but I'll look on it. Anyways, so but we'll, we'll play if you want to see, I don't know if you can see it. It's a bit bright, but it scratched me right there. So oh, they oh, oh. poor tap tap. Yeah, they they truthfully, bunnies while being very docile and cute and not harmful at all, they do have little claws. Well, not they, really sharp. They're not. I mean, they're not sharp. They're but, more for climbing. And yeah, hopping. but if they get a hold I mean, of you, they hurt. I mean. Yeah. But yeah, they love to get, you know, the cage. Um, another thing we've noticed about these bunnies is uh, they like to eat. <laughs> you can put as much food as you they'll eat. I mean, they, they've they taken little naps, but, you know, they're completely active. I mean, they haven't really slowed down at all. We're kind of wondering when that's going to happen. <laughs> now, they are, you know, young. How old are the, how old are the bunnies? Um, well, they were, they... You know, there were babies in, uh, what was it, uh, April, Easter, around Easter? Yeah, around Easter they were babies. Yeah. So, they've grown since then, and 
We just got them today, though. Yeah, we just got them today. So they're, they're sisters. They're they come from the same litter. Yep. Uh, you know. So it's unique, though. A white bunny and a black bunny. Yeah, we're gonna we're same gonna get litter. little collars and 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 leashes and go walk them, you know, down the street like April does. The next oh no, we're not. With, the, with, the, with their dogs, like. Oh. We're not going to do that because if there's anything on the street that they eat, and, I, I know. And they get sick I and know. they like to nibble. Yeah, we, but we will take them out in the yard and stuff. Yeah, we'll take them out in the yard. And leashes. Do they even make leashes for bunnies? No, but they make them for really, 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 really tiny, tiny dogs. So, <laughs> so I'm figuring, you know, if they make them for those, they can make them for bunnies. I guess. Yeah, they're cute. Things. Yes, they are. Very cute, very cute. Uh, I guess we'll throw this into ETV because I've got like you cutting your hair and yeah, you know I the bunnies we'll and you know I'll do some commentary and throw it all together. And yeah. See these are bunnies. Aren't they nice? Look, look, he's cocking his little ear, her little ear. Yeah. yeah. We, we're trying to keep up with the whole thing of saying her yeah, because they are. Uh, you want to say chicks. he? You want to say he? But yeah. you know girls. she. Yeah. Well, you gotta be politically correct. And she, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. There's something about the sea They just like to stand up on their hind legs and mm -hmm. just stand there, like, like. Well, it's good exercise. Yeah, yeah. Should I stop recording this now? Um, if you want, yeah. yeah. Um, Towards the thing. Kids, try this at home. <laughs> this is Tep Tep attempting to breathe fire. Oh. <laughs> Almost. I taught him this trick myself. Cause I am good. Blue light, damn it! Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Where's your Zippo? Mm -hmm. Zippo. Zippo. Huh? I'll get it. Just gotta get it right. Yes. This takes practice, kids. So don't. Damn it. Almost. You almost had it. Yes. Do not inhale the gases from a lighter. <laughs> yeah! Do it again from the side. I'm lighting my damn mustache on fire. <laughs> you got him back up just there. Okay. Special effects are not included. This is real, people. This is real. Whoa. All right, that's enough. I burnt enough of my mustache. And who said magic didn't exist anymore? I burnt my tongue. <laughs> Kids, don't try this. <laughs> or do. How do I stop this? Stop recording. All right, so. It's come to the end. Um, yeah, we're gonna break camp here and uh, head for home. But you know, we always spent the whole night here. At, you know, at our, our camping here, our encampment. We're not camping, but we're in an encampment. I'll explain all that crap later, sometime maybe if you're lucky. It's a French thing. It's, it's called the encampment. It's where the where your your forces and militaries go to, you know, encamp and take an area. Uh, I thought they just smoked campy. <laughs> no. Uh, basically, we've been doing black ops. You know, we've been, uh, you know, hunting several several suspect targets, and uh, yeah, man. <laughs> Are you done? Yes. That's irritating. All right, all right. Um. <laughs> never mind this idiot over here. I swear, I swear. If it weren't for my skills, we'd all be dead by now. Um. Yeah. I mean, he's. Dude, dude, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> no. Every, uh, you light a fire, and everybody out through yonder for about 200 yards is going to be able to see you. Not a good idea. Especially if you go lighting me on fire. <laughs> God, man.
Sorry. Be quiet. Sorry. <laughs> Man, you're about to get us killed. Be quiet, please. Please, please be quiet. Please. Lower. I swear he's gonna get me killed. Lord help me. <laughs> uh, no, we're we're actually you know by, you know tracking targets. We're about to break camp and go go home because they've you know been shooting and stuff, and we don't get killed. Uh, we did get some useful information, and uh, we're heading back home. But uh, to all you to all you out there, keep the faith. Okay, maybe you'll learn something from this. Maybe not. Either way. I hope you learn something, you know, that's what we're here for, we're trying to teach, we're trying to educate people, just like we're Roundtable, maybe you've never heard of Roundtable, but it's my radio show, we try to educate people on how the crap really is, and how it's going down, and how to protect yourself, and how to do right, and morals, and ethics, and yay, all this good stuff, yes, you know, so, this is episode two, keep the faith.